Timeline of classical mechanics Early mechanics 4th century BC – Aristotle invents the system of Aristotelian physics, which is later largely disproved 4th century BC – Babylonian astronomers calculate Jupiter's position using the mean speed theorem 260 BC – Archimedes works out the principle of the lever and connects buoyancy to weight 60 – Hero of Alexandria writes metrica, mechanics on means to lift heavy objects, and pneumatics on machines working on pressure 350 – The Mystius states, that static friction is larger than kinetic friction 6th century – John Philoponus says that by observation, two balls of very different weights will fall at nearly the same speed. He therefore tests the equivalence principle 1021 – Al-Biruni uses three orthogonal coordinates to describe point in space 1000–1030 – Alhazen and Avicenna develop the concepts of inertia and momentum 1100–1138 – Avampace develops the concept of a reaction force 1100–1165 – Haba Allah Abul Barakat al-Baghdadi discovers that force is proportional to acceleration rather than speed, a fundamental law in classical mechanics 1121 – Al-Khazini publishes the Book of the Balance of Wisdom, in which he develops the concepts of gravity at a distance. He suggests that the gravity varies depending on its distance from the center of the universe, namely Earth. 1340–1358 – Jean Buridan develops the theory of impetus. 14th century – Oxford calculators and French collaborators prove the mean speed theorem. 14th century, Nicole Oresme derives the times squared law for uniformly accelerated change. Oresme, however, regarded this discovery as a purely intellectual exercise having no relevance to the description of any natural phenomena, and consequently failed to recognize any connection with the motion of accelerating bodies. 1500-1528 Al Burjandi develops the theory of circular inertia to explain Earth's rotation. 16th century, Domingo de Soto suggests that bodies falling through a homogeneous medium are uniformly accelerated. Soto, however, did not anticipate many of the qualifications and refinements contained in Galileo's theory of falling bodies. He did not, for instance, recognize, as Galileo did, that a body would fall with a strictly uniform acceleration only in a vacuum, and that it would otherwise eventually reach a uniform terminal velocity. 1581 – Galileo Galilei notices the timekeeping property of the pendulum. 1589 – Galileo Galilei uses balls rolling on inclined planes to show that different weights fall with the same acceleration. 1638 – Galileo Galilei publishes dialogues concerning two new sciences which were materials science and kinematics where he develops, amongst other things, Galilean transformation. 1645 – Ismael Bulaldus argues that Gravity weakens as the inverse square of the distance. 1651 Giovanni Battista Riccioli and Francesco Maria Grimaldi discover the Coriolis effect. 1658 Christian Huygens experimentally discovers that balls placed anywhere inside an inverted cycloid reach the lowest point of the cycloid in the same time and thereby experimentally shows that the cycloid is the tautochrone. 1668 John Wallace suggests the law of conservation of momentum. 1676 to 1689 Gottfried Leibniz develops the concept of vis viva, a limited theory of conservation of energy. Topic: <laughs> Formation of classical mechanics, sometimes referred to as Newtonian mechanics. 1687 – Isaac Newton publishes his Philosophiae Naturalis Principia Mathematica, in which he formulates Newton's laws of motion and Newton's law of universal gravitation. 1690 – James Bernoulli shows that the cycloid is the solution to the Tautochron problem. 1691 – Johann Bernoulli shows that a chain freely suspended from two points will form a catenary. 1691 – James Bernoulli shows that the catenary curve has the lowest center of gravity of any chain hung from two fixed points. 1696 – Johann Bernoulli shows that the cycloid is the solution to the brachistochron problem. 1707 – Gottfried Leibniz probably develops the principle of least action. 
1710 Jakob Hermann shows that Laplace Runge-Lenz vector is conserved for a case of the inverse square central force. 1714 Brooke Taylor derives the fundamental frequency of a stretched vibrating string in terms of its tension and mass per unit length by solving an ordinary differential equation. 1733 Daniel Bernoulli derives the fundamental frequency and harmonics of a hanging chain by solving an ordinary differential equation. 1734 Daniel Bernoulli solves the ordinary differential equation for the vibrations of an elastic bar clamped at one end. 1739 Leonard Euler solves the ordinary differential equation for a forced harmonic oscillator and notices the resonance phenomenon. 1742 Colin Maclaurin discovers his uniformly rotating self gravitating spheroids. 1743 Jean Laurent d'Alembert publishes his Traite de Dynamique in which he introduces the concept of generalized forces and d'Alembert's principle. 1747 d'Alembert and Alexis Clairaut publish first approximate solutions to the three-body problem. 1749 Leonard Euler derives equation for Coriolis acceleration. 1759 Leonard Euler solves the partial differential equation for the vibration of a rectangular drum. 1764 Leonard Euler examines the partial differential equation for the vibration of a circular drum and finds one of the Bessel function solutions. 1776 John Smeaton publishes a paper on experiments relating power, work, momentum and kinetic energy, and supporting the conservation of energy. 1788 Joseph Louis Lagrange presents Lagrange's equations of motion in the Mechanique Analytique. 1789 Antoine Lavoisier states the law of conservation of mass. 1803 Louis Poinsot develops idea of angular momentum conservation. This result was previously known only in the case of conservation of aerial velocity. 1813 Peter Ewart supports the idea of the conservation of energy in his paper on the measure of moving force. 1821 William Hamilton begins his analysis of Hamilton's characteristic function and Hamilton Jacobi equation. 1829 Carl Friedrich Gauss introduces Gauss's principle of least constraint. 1834 Carl Jacobi discovers his uniformly rotating self gravitating ellipsoids. 1834 John Russell observes a non decaying solitary water wave soliton in the Union Canal near Edinburgh and uses a water tank to study the dependence of solitary water wave velocities on wave amplitude and water depth. 1835 William Hamilton states Hamilton's canonical equations of motion. 1838 Liouville begins work on Liouville's theorem. 1841 Julius Robert von Mayer, an amateur scientist, writes a paper on the conservation of energy, but his lack of academic training leads to its rejection. 1847 Hermann von Helmholtz formally states the law of conservation of energy. First half of 19th century, Cauchy develops his momentum equation and his stress tensor. 1851 Léon Foucault shows the Earth's rotation with a huge pendulum, Foucault pendulum. 1870 Rudol. F. Clausius deduces virial theorem. 1902 James Jeans finds the length scale required for gravitational perturbations to grow in a static nearly homogeneous medium. 1915 Emmy Noether proves Noether's theorem, from which conservation laws are deduced. 1952 Parker develops a tensor form of the virial theorem. 1978 Vladimir Arnold states precise form of Liouville Arnold theorem. 1983 Mordechai Milgram proposes modified Newtonian dynamics. 1992 Udwadia and Kalaba create Udwadia Kalaba equation. 